And good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Business here on CentralValleyTalk.com. I'm Mike Scott. So glad you're with us on this hot, uh, this Wednesday. 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 Had to think. Had to think. Look, Jesse Orozco is back with us again uh, from A Plus Business Systems. He was with us a few weeks ago. He's had some changes to his business that we're going to talk about. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. I'm doing very well, Mike. Thank you. You have a new IT department now. Yes, we do. We've actually uh, just implemented that, so now we're uh, working on computers and networks. Uh, kind of was uh, long overdue. Uh, a lot of it kind of goes with everything else you do. Exactly. A lot of our clients were requesting it, and we just said, you know, we'll go ahead and, and um, go into that market. Uh, we hired some some staff, and uh, it's working out really well. Yeah. Did you go out and find some geeks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of geeks around. It's that's a, that's a very uh, popular field. So we didn't have problems finding help, but hopefully it's good help. Yeah. So tell everybody uh, what else you offer there at your business, A plus. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, generally, uh, anything to do with office equipment, as far as uh, you know, now machines are no longer called copiers; they're actually called multifunctional devices because they're printers, they're their scanners, or faxes, kind of all in one. So we call them MFPs. And it's a computer. Short. It's basically a computer uh, that outputs paper and you can scan and take care of all those needs. Um, that's primarily our bulk of our business. Uh, then we, we obviously do the service on the equipment uh, and um, we do leasing and rentals. Uh, so your typical attorney office, legal field, medical office are, are like the common types of vertical markets that, that we um, entail. But um, lately, uh, like I said, we're getting more and more requests for the IT because it goes hand in hand. Machines are connected via the computers, via their servers for printing, scanning purposes. So it all ties in. Mm. Do those guys have to go out to the site to fix a machine, or can they just do it right from the office? You know, log in over the phone or whatever and fix it remotely. Uh, yes, to both, uh, because uh, sometimes it does require a visit. Sometimes you can remote in, uh, and it has its advantages, disadvantages, depending on the problem. Um, then we just kind of make an, an assessment of what needs to be done. You can't fix a paper jam over the phone, can you? Right, right. <laughs> you got to be out there. <laughs> right, sometimes you got to have actual physical presence out there. Yeah. I would imagine a busy, you mentioned an attorney's office, they probably do thousands of copies a day. Yes, yes. The, the legal field, um, currently um, the latest is the court system is still requiring everything to be on paper. Um, so documents can't be just emailed back and forth and signed digitally. So it still has to be physically wet signatures. So I guess fortunately... Good for your business. I was just going to say that. <laughs> fortunately for our business, there's still quite a bit of paper. But moving forward, eventually we all know that that's going to be more and more accepted. Uh, it's already becoming known that when documents are scanned in, the size of the document and the actual uh, data that the document consists of can be monitored. So if the, if the document was changed electronically, it now takes on a different size. Um, so it can be easily uh, discovered that it was altered. And, and as that technology gets perfected, it'll be more and more acceptable by the courts, by the legal system. Hmm. Now, if you're wondering what are we going to do, we're moving forward with the times. Uh, we're actually uh, another part of, of our business is the document management, electronic filing. So as documents are no longer stored in file cabinets or stored on servers, we actually have software that allows um, our users to retrieve up to 100,000 uh, documents within 10 seconds. So that's a lot. That's a lot. It'll scan through, find what you need, and uh, be very efficient. Yeah. I, I want to go back to something you said a minute ago. I never knew this. If somebody goes in and electronically changes a document, it changes the size of the document? changes the size and it also changes specifications in the document. So that can be through special equipment, it can be monitored and therefore it, it, there, there is a way to make sure that there is validity to that document, that it's an electronic original. Mm -hmm. Instead of a hard paper original, it's an electronic original because if it was altered in any way, it, it can be researched. Yeah. I know when I worked in the newsroom, it would, you could, it would say on the bottom of a script who was the last person who changed this script, right. what changes they made, what time. Electronic notes. Which computer you know, they accessed it to make those changes. 
I guess, uh, well, especially in a lawyer's office, it'd be very important to know if somebody was changing a document, right? Definitely, definitely. That's, and that's kind of been, as, as our court and government system has more and more confidence and technology advances in that aspect, I think eventually we will go to what they call a non-paper system where everything can be electronic and uh, data can just be moved from one server to another, from the court server to the legal department server. But, um, you know, we're, it's st we're, I think we're still a ways from that. But little by little, we're making some strides. Okay. Anything else you want the folks out there to know about your business today? Uh, just that we'd like to be available and, and we like to serve a, a large aspects of the community, um, uh, owners, uh, business, businesses that are maybe a couple employees up to somebody who has 100 employees. We, can, we have uh, the ability to serve all, the, all those needs. Um, any size business needs. Any size uh, business Some kind needs. of document control. Exactly, exactly. And um, so we don't want people to feel like, well, maybe my business is too small, we can't handle that. No, there's, there's usually an application for any type of business. Yeah. Do most companies now buy the machine or do they just lease it? Uh, because technology advances very quickly now in nowadays, um, most of the time it's leased. I would say 90% percent of the equipment that we provide out there, the, it, the acquisition process is leasing. Um, it's just much more flexible. It's, they can get into a monthly payment. Uh, there's less out-of-pocket cash, so it doesn't tie up their cash flow. And after three or four years, the machine is kind of worn out. They can just trade it in. They don't have to worry about, well, the new machines come out are more advanced. They're always going to stay with technology. Yeah. What happens to those old machines? Uh, generally, they depending on the on the machine, some of them actually get shipped uh, to third world countries because there they don't have the budget to stay up with the equipment with the t technology. So they'll get shipped down there. They'll be you know be sold in, the, in the, there's wholesalers for copy machines and they'll buy a, a lump sum of them and ship them to another country. If, it, if they're very old and no longer uh, feasible to to be used, uh, then they can just send, be sent to a recycler electronic waste, basically. All right, there you go. A-plus business systems, they're on Clovis Avenue uh, by the airport, right? Correct, correct. Shields and Clovis. Shields and Clovis Avenue. Uh, phone number, website, how can people sure. reach you? Sure, our phone number is 559-442-3564, and our website is www.aplusscopiers.net. Is that plus spelled out or is it the plus symbol? Plus spelled out, P-L-U-S. P-L-U-S, all right. Jesse, good to see you. Thank you, Mike. Jesse Orozco, our first guest today here on centralvalleytalk.com.